Hello and welcome to the show. Today's show is a really special one since we have the iconic R&B group, The Spinners, right here in studio with a legacy that spans more than six decades. They have dropped gem after gem of the finest love songs, dance songs, and just all around feel good songs. And they continue to perform to out to sold out crowds. It's absolutely my pleasure to welcome The Spinners. Please welcome Jesse Peck. C.J. Jefferson, Marvin Taylor, and Ronnie Moss. Gentlemen, hello. Hello. I am out. so excited. I am doing everything I can to stay in the seat. <laughs> this is amazing. I thank you for joining us. Thank and I think it's important. Us. First, let's just introduce yourselves. Tell people who you are. I know none of you are the original members, but you are holding on to the tradition and you know the history well. Indeed, indeed. And you are? Hi, I'm Jesse Peck. Of course you're Jesse. <laughs> I'm CJ Jefferson. Hey, CJ. Marvin Taylor. Hi, everybody. Hey, Marvin. Ronnie Moss. Hey, Ronnie. Hey. So let's talk about this. Uh, the to start, I just want to start with the history wow. because it's such a powerful history, right? We're yes. talking Michigan, mid fifties. This amazing mm -hmm. group of young men who were actually hustling and working for other artists, yeah, right? That's true. That's true. Uh, it was nineteen fifty four actually when the group actually formed. Mm -hmm. uh, they got together, Ferndale, Michigan, just north of, of Detroit. Everyone wants to say Detroit, but mm -hmm. basically, yeah, the Detroit area. Mm -hmm. uh, they got together, formed a group, uh, and originally the Spinners were called the Domingos, mm. uh, which that name didn't quite work out. Yeah. You know, MCs would just slaughter that name. Oh. They call them the Flamingos and the this, that, got every, it. everything. But, got uh, it. But you can't mess uh, up the yeah, Spinners. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. The Spinners worked out much better. Thank you, Bobby Smith, for renaming uh, the group. Gotcha. Uh, definitely stuck well. And it was uh, Tri-Fi Records where the first songs were released. I think it was heebie-jeebies on the flip side of That's What Girls Are Made For. Mm. And, uh, that flip side that, always has a gym. That flip side always got to sneak up, up on right? you. That's right. That's, that's right. that's right. You better believe it. And then it was in 1964 when Tri-Fi was sold to Motown Records. Mm -hmm. And you think, wow, we're the spinners, Motown Records now. We're really going to take off. Well, they took off all right. You yeah. know, they were starting cars and taking off heading down the street as drivers for uh, for uh, Barry Gordy's mom. Wow. Uh, Bobby Smith, he went to the airport, picked up the Jackson 5 when they so arrived. So who was it? Because all, everybody was had a sort of a behind-the-scenes job, right? Yeah, yeah. Who was it who was like, wait a minute, these brothers can sing? Well, that would be Aretha Franklin. Wow. Well, and, and prior to that, there was a song that the spinners had that uh, Stevie Wonder wrote, It's a Shame, mm -hmm. just sits on the shelf for for over a year. Meanwhile, the guys are actually doing manual labor at Motown. Yeah. Stevie complains. The song gets pushed out while the Queen of Soul, Aretha Franklin's reaching out saying, hey, when your contract ends, you guys should come over to Atlantic Records. Come holla at us. So, yeah, yeah so as that you. song was being released, Barry Gordy says, hey, I see we've got another hit. Who's that group? And they said, the Spinners. He said, wow. okay, get them in here. And he said, oh, you're too late. <laughs> They're already gone. God. And uh, from the Spinners making the transition from Motown Records uh -huh. in Detroit to Philadelphia Atlantic Records, that's where the uh, phrase was coined, Motown Philly. Mm. So when you hear boys to men sing about Motown, Motown Philly, Philly, they'll even tell you themselves that yeah. Yeah, the Spinners were, were the inspiration for that. This is such an amazing history when you hear, and, and when you think about how long their music, that original sound has lasted. CJ, you're the newest member, oh, yeah. right? Get the, Ronnie, I'm sorry, you're the you're the newest member, but this has been such an amazing. No, Rod, Ronnie's been Rod, here a while. This is the new guy. You are the new guy. Yeah. Excuse me, I'm he, sorry. He, he, because he takes so, you by storm. You gotta, he, he's still new. He's right. Like, <laughs> so, just talk about what is it like to audition to be a this one of the spinners oh, yeah. and that voice, the lead voice. Mm -hmm. Is there a lot of pressure going into that? Oh, is it? It's the pressure is woof. Um, it's crazy because not only do you have to be yourself but you have to give the people what they want. Right. And those people know, the audience know the songs, they know every word right. from word. You look out, you sing at them, they... <laughs> they go going... I'm like, if you miss one word... Right, they're like, looking at you like, oh, like That's ain't right. you a spinner? Right. right. <laughs> what are you doing here? Right. Yeah. But uh, that was, the to me, that was the easy part. The hard part is to learn, not just from the writers, but from that artist, because I have to do Felipe. Mm. And I also have to do John Edwards. And I still have to ah. do uh, GC Cameron. So I still have to do all three of uh, those guys. So not just be C.J. Jefferson. So I have right. to because live these guys Because you've each are musicians yeah. in your own right. Yes. You've all had careers of your own. Yes. Mm -hmm. But at what point, tell me when you make the decision, I want to be one of the spinners. Wow. <laughs> wow. 
Well, for me, that would be when this young man right here <laughs> called me, Mr. Jesse Peck, called me and asked me that I want to uh, audition for the Spinners. Mm -hmm. They were um, one. Of, they were releasing one of the guys actually, mm -hmm. and uh, this this young man was in the group already. Mm -hmm. Me and Jesse sung in a group called Unique before he got with the Spinners. Okay. And so you know what it's supposed to sound like. You knew Marvin had the voice. I, I knew that Marvin would be a, the perfect fit. Yeah. I know, Henry Fambro looked at me because he was looking at some guys that he had in mind. And he was just scratching his head. And I just sat there quiet. And then he finally looked at me and said, do you know anyone? I You're said, like, yeah, I got it. Yeah, I said, I got you. I got the perfect guy. I and called Marvin and... You know, Here we know. are. And Ronnie, in this last minute that we have in this part of the conversation, for you, what's that like when you say, mm, yeah, I want to be one of the spinners? It was a surprise for me. How so? I, well, you know, I, <laughs> I've been doing music for years and years, uh -huh. and I got to a point to where I just kind of got fed up mm. with just trying to do different things. Yeah. I was at home one day, and this young man called me. Oh, <laughs> nice. We bring in the building. The yeah, I he love called it. me, and he, and he said, uh, man, you need to walk, start walking, man, because uh, <laughs> Henry's going to call you in two weeks. He sure did. He called me. Sure wow. Did. Yeah. And so what is it like just making sure that you're true to the sound and true to the rhythm and what people expect and still being your unique selves? <laughs> The key person in that is Henry Fambro. Oh, My audition yes. was crazy. <laughs> I came, and we should say, yeah. one of the, the surviving original yes. member yes. of the Spinners. Yes. yes. Just the a legend. Original. So oh. he sets the tone. Oh, He's, yeah. And he will make sure. <laughs> he told me it was the craziest thing. Oh, go over in this corner and sing. I'm like, why am I going to the corner? <laughs> yeah. What do you mean? Don't sing it hard, just stand in the corner and sing. I'm like, well, I haven't done anything, just stand in the corner. Come on this side, go on this corner. But he had me singing all the corners and singing. And he's like, now sing it. And he said, okay. He never said I had a job. It's a real initiation <laughs> process. I love it. We're going to continue with the history and the music and the sound and the soul of the spinners when we return. Please do not go. Listen, I know you're not going anywhere. The spinners continue this conversation when we return. We'll be right back. And then later, the spinners perform and it's gonna be awesome but will it be one of your favorite hits from your spinners playlist you just have to stick around to find out we'll be right back